What's up everyone? It's John and in this video I'm going to take a closer look at Game Pros, the classic Game Pro magazine. This is a thicker edition than I'm used to seeing normally. Uh, came out in the 90s. Unfortunately, the sticker is blocking it. I don't know what year. Actually, it is 94. It's November 94. I'm seeing that on the side here. And I'm not quite sure what issue this is. I, I, there's a sticker covering it. I think it's issue like 160 something. Uh, obviously featuring Beavis and Butthead. Love Beavis and Butthead growing up. I, in the 90s growing up, I didn't have cable TV, believe it or not. Uh, we just didn't have satellite dish or anything like that. So I used to go to my friend's place and watch MTV and be visiting by head and uh, really thought it was hilarious. And uh, played the game, of course, so that's what it's going to cover. I can see Lion King, Earthworm Jim, some classic ones for sure. On the back, Pac-Man 2 for the Genesis and Super Nintendo. One thing I really love about going through these classic gaming magazines is just the advertisements are so classic. Just love them. Uh, let's open it up. Mickey Mania for the Genesis, Sega CD, Super Nintendo. Uh, this is 94, so this is the time, yeah, Sega CD was around, of course. Uh, Super Nintendo, N64, still a couple years away. Game Boy was still around. Kind of the tail end of the NES, right? The original NES. Uh, this is Clay Fighter 2. Uh, I used to rent this game a lot, uh, Blockbuster Video. Uh, such a unique fighting game. I wish they would make a new Clay Fighter. Uh, who made Clay Fighter? Interplay? I'm not quite sure who owns the rights to Interplay now. If you guys know, leave a comment below, let me know. Uh, here is the uh, team who was behind it. Uh, of course, Tr uh, Troy Aikman Football. Uh, you got Pro Tips, which I'm sure this line is no longer active. 32X 3DO Systems. I check out December's issue. So uh, I had my neighbor, a good friend of, uh, at school had a 3DO. I had a 32X. I could never really get it to work back growing up. It was weird with the attachments. I eventually figured it out, but... Table of Contents, Supreme Warrior, looks hot. Um, one thing I love about Game Pro opposed to Nintendo Power, which of course Nintendo Power is awesome and very classic, was that Nintendo Power obviously focused on Nintendo, right? It's Nintendo's magazine. Game Pro highlighted all the systems, so it was really cool. Kind of your source for anything Sega, anything 3DO, uh, mainly Sega, right? Um, here's uh, Mario Andretti uh, Racing. More table, table of Contents. What is this right here? Final Fantasy III. Man, I loved this game. Final Fantasy 2 was awesome. I remember when Final Fantasy 3 came out and just blown away by it. Um, game Genie Codes. Super cool. I had both Game Genie for Game Gear and Super Nintendo. I had it for the Genesis as well. Here's the other advertisement. Who says life is fair, right? Uh, man, the music is so iconic for sure. Here is a 3DO uh, ad. I love this thing. Uh, and it's promoting Super Street Fighter 2, which is probably honestly the turbo one. One of the best Street Fighter 2 ports you'll find on any home console. If you have a 3DO, definitely check it out. Um, Road Rash is also a really good game, which is promoting here. So, of course, they're promoting some of their top games. Uh, Wolfenstein's another great one. Here's where people get a write in. Uh, you know, different tips on Mortal Kombat, uh, cart, uh, queries and queries, all that good stuff. Street Fighter 2 endings, all that good stuff, right? So, cool. Uh, here's fan art. So, about Star Trek. I consider myself a Trekkie, a huge fan. These are additional fan art. Some of these are really cool. In fact, they're all really cool. I never could draw. Um, Illusions of Gaia. Great game. Uh, Samurai Art Contest winner. So here is Samurai Showdown, classic winner. Earth 2 is a TV series or promotion. I never watched this series it's on NBC. Never got into it. Um, Samurai Art Contest, honorable mentions. Here is an ad. What is this ad even for? Uh, Rocket Science. Lodestar Legend, totally, I don't even know what this ad is for. That is a creepy freaking ad, I'll tell you. I don't know. Crazy. Uh, more. On, how many honorable mentions are there? It's nuts. Everything else is just practice. The sixth page, you'll know why. ESPN, okay, so this is promoting some sport. All these sports titles promotions, it's crazy. More sports title, racing titles. Okay, so you can subscribe to Game Pro Magazine back in the day. Get uh, 12 issues for 20 bucks. That's super cheap. This one, uh, because it's thicker, is five four ninety nine uh, back in nineteen ninety four. That's probably closer to like nine dollars, ten dollars now. Uh, NBA Jam strategy guide. Uh, love the NBA Jam. I have love it so much. I actually own an NBA Jam arcade cabinet, tournament edition, in my arcade at home. Um, Darkstalkers port here. Another. All these ads are soccer and football and, and baseball and, and racing games. Crazy hot at the arcade. So. Um, T-Mac, super hot in the arcade. There was a port for, you see the grading scale, you got a 5.0 uh, off of uh, Fun Factor, Control, Sound, and Graphics. 
It's a great game. Uh, I remember playing arcades. I remember the 30, uh, 32X had a port as well. Definitely classic. Uh, Wild Snake. It's a puzzle game. I can't say I've ever played it. Uh, pretty crazy. Well, who's this guy? I can't. Jim, something or other. I don't know. Um, oh, Alex. Alexi. Petronov. Okay. He's the guy who, who created Tetris. I should have recognized him. Yeah, the guy who created Tetris dares you. So he created this game. Um, so yeah, Alexis. That's cool. I have his autograph. Alexi. So I have his autograph. He's a super cool dude. Um, created the Tetris. That's awesome. Yeah. He's promoting that game. Can't say I've ever played it, though, to be honest. And Jaguar ad. How cool is that? Um, some games are promoting. Some fighting games. Making of Primal Rage. So all the stop motion, all that good stuff. There was a Primal Rage 2 arcade in the plans, and there's a prototype out there. I never saw the light of day, unfortunately. Uh, Donkey Kong Country, one of my favorite games of all time. Not only for the Super Nintendo, but for just in general. Music, sound effects, so classic. Inside the Sony PlayStation, will, will the PlayStation generate knockout graphics? Uh, so at this point, the PlayStation uh, is not quite out yet, I don't believe. Um, so it features 32-bit graphics. Whole backstory on this real quick. Sony had a deal with Nintendo to create the Nintendo PlayStation. And though that partnership ended uh, and Sony decided to take their what they learned and create their own system. And here they are with the Sony uh, PlayStation today. Uh, Venom, very appropriate. Uh, still hugely popular, the character. Obviously, the movie came out. I just watched Spider-Man 3 the other day. Um, yeah, classic. That's cool. Uh, Echo of the Tides of Time. Love the Sega CD version. The music's incredible. Very good. Even the Game Gear port's good. Here you go. Beavis and Butthead. Uh... Looks like a decent three out of five on average out of five uh, scale. I love how they did different uh, you know, categories. It's great. Um, this port here looks like maybe the Genesis port based on the graphics or the, the color. Uh, I remember playing on the, the Genesis for sure. Uh, WWE or WWF Raw. Back right then before it was WWE. The I guess it's WWF. It's WWE now, right? They changed it. World Wildlife Federation sued them. Um, this is cre another creepy ad. Zero tolerance. Accolade, commercial, it's crazy. Lion King, really a fun game for the Genesis for sure. Uh, huge fan of it. I really prefer um, Aladdin for the Genesis though. It's my all time favorite. Disney game by Virgin. Um, Supreme Warrior. This is for the 30, uh, 3DO I believe. I uh, believe so. Kind of all uh, live action. Yo, do get a clue. That Jason Bateman looks like Jason Bateman, doesn't it? That's crazy. So, um, some more games here online, uh, different games. Rebel Assault, classic. Street Fighter movie update. Remember when they made a Street Fighter movie, the game, based on the movie, which is Street Fighter the movie, the game, the movie, the game. It's just really weird. Um, here's different uh, hotlines. The entire video game world will feel an impact on this collection. The in interactor. This is like a thing you are where it's crazy. So I guess you feel it. Backthorn, Interplay ad, Earthworm Jim, uh, Playmates, right? Um, Sonic and Knuckles. That was an attachment um, you put on and a uh, really fun game. Sonic and Knuckles, yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, more football ad. Crazy. I guess I really want to push those sports. Genesis Contra for the Genesis. Hardcore. Um, Corpse. Um, fun. Definitely a good game. Here's Sega CD ad. Another crazy ad by, for the Sega CD. There's, these 90 ads are crazy. Look at this Konami. This disinfected thing. This is crazy. Pitfall for the Genesis. One for Gen Jaguar is pretty good as well. A hardcore. Uh, this is the Contra ad. I believe this is a Genesis exclusive game. Uh, blow away. Things that move. Lethal Enforcers with the gun. This is for the second one. Pretty cool. To find it with the gun is awesome as well. Only Alfred knows for sure. This is a Batman game. Uh, Batman Robin for the, the Super Nintendo. This is a Konami by Konami. Trust in no one. Snatcher. <laughs> I love seeing this ad. This uh, Snatcher has, has grown quite a cult following. My good friend uh, Jeff. Huge. One of his favorite games. And I wish uh, they would do a remake of Snatcher or a follow up to it. It's a kind of interactive story. Uh, it's, it's great. It's a really unique game by, by Konami. Um, here's the Kmart ad. Kmart's not really much around anymore in the States. Urban Strike, Combat, uh, Scumicide, uh, Captain Commando game. Great beat em up. I think believe it was an arcade as well. Urban Strike, great game for Genesis. Um, this is by, I believe, Electronic Arts. 
and really, uh, I, know they, I think they came out with one for the 3DO. Uh, it wasn't Urban Strike, it was uh, something other. Uh, let me know, leave a comment below, but that was great too. Zero Tolerance, Top Gear 3000, uh, Rock and Roll Racing. <laughs> love this game, I love the Super Nintendo one. They've actually done a remake and for the Super Nintendo and they've added uh, the actual soundtrack, which is crazy. Uh, they, you know, they actually listen to the real music. It's got rock covers and, and things like that, right? So it's pretty cool. Uh, Brutal Paw of Fury. Uh, more Mickey Mania. This is an ad for Unnecessary Roughness 3.5. Okay, we'll turn the page here. Uh, of course, Sparkster, Star Trek Next Generation. Uh, it's deceiving because when I look at this ad, it's like you can meet the team. Uh, not the case, right? It's just saying that you play this game, it feels like you're part of the crew. Uh, huge Star Trek Next Generation, huge Star Trek Next Generation fan. Not so much of the game, unfortunately. It just didn't pan out for me. Anyway, um, love Demon's Crest. If you haven't played Demon's Crest, definitely recommend it. Uh, it's a RPG platforming game by Capcom. I love it. Uh, it it's part of the, the Ghosts and Goblins, Ghouls and Ghosts series, uh, series, and it's awesome. Jurassic Park Rampage Edition for the Genesis. Kind of a follow-up, uh, exclusive to the Genesis. It kind of averaged a three-point something scale, so you got an average kind of score. Uh, Bubsy 2, uh, again, average score. Uh, another, look at this, another sports ad. Uh, Lethal Enforcers 2, uh, here's some, oh, look at this, Street Fighter 2, the movie. Um, yeah, <laughs> Booger Man, Jungle Book game ad. It's a super thick uh, issue. Uh, Aver Activision ad, Activision, crazy, but crazy about Activision recently getting acquired, that's crazy. Uh, Pack Attack, uh, Marco, can't say I played either of those. Uh, this is Double Dragon, the movie. Another movie based on a game that didn't really work out in the 90s other than Mortal Kombat. The movie was decent, uh, but definitely Mortal, uh, Mario Brothers, not so much. Uh, all of that good stuff. Um, a 3D, uh, a CDI ad, which is crazy. You don't see CDI ads very often, but promoting some of the games. Um, Clay Fighter. Uh, another sports ad, soccer ad, uh, Starblade for the Sega CD. Got average reviews. Uh, Star Wars Chess. Never played this game. I'm not a chess guy, to be honest with you, but uh, love the logo, though. It's not even a Star Wars logo. It just looks like totally generic Star Wars, but gave it a good score uh, for the Sega CD. Um, viewpoint for the Genesis. I can't say I ever played that. Uh, here's another ad for the 3DO. Really pushing the 3DO. Really expensive back then. Here's Demon, more about Demon's Crest, and they gave it about a four point out of five, four out of five scale um, game. They said an intermediate challenge, not as hard as the other games. Ghosts and Goblins, one of the hardest games ever play. Uh, the Lion King uh, gave it about a 4.5 average score. Fun Factor is the lowest, uh, but graphic sound. It's got music covers from the, the movie, which is great. Awesome soundtrack. Another sports ad. Five dollar for every sports ad. Uh, Indiana Jones, Grace Adventures by JVC. Uh, they'd also done the Super Star Wars series for the Super Nintendo. Um, great game. Instead of doing three separate games, they did all three movies in one. Really recommend it. It's a platforming game. Very challenging. Got some Mode 7 graphics and like you can do like lava in the cart and stuff like as in, as you can do in the second movie, which is cool. Blockbuster ad. Earthworm Jim. Here's a Sega Genesis ad on their peripherals. This activator here, you can get in. It's supposed to be motion, kind of like the Wii. It didn't really work very well. I tried it. Didn't work. Uh, Shaq Fu. Uh, yeah. Pass hard pass on that. <laughs> uh, Mickey Mania, you got this uh, Saturday Night Slam Masters, uh, Primal Rage, Wild Guns, immensely popular for Super Nintendo, very hard to find, very expensive. It gave it about a four point uh, on average out of five. But who did that game? It was uh, Natsumi, that's right. Primal Rage, this is kind of a, what they call a pro strategy guide. The paper feels different, it's a little thicker. It's a strategy guide on Primal Rage and how to play different characters, different combos. And it goes about 10 pages or so. Uh, you can see this the different characters and different combos. Um, really fun port. The Jaguar CD port is actually really good. The characters are a little small in that, but it's really hard to find. But yeah, it's a pretty decent game. Uh, really, really fun, unique fighter. Kind of took its stop motion, kind of like in Clay Fighter. Uh, Uncharted Waters, New Horizons for the Super Nintendo and Genesis. I can't say I've ever played it. Uh, Sparkster, I guess they did do a Super Nintendo port. I was not aware. Uh, that's by Konami. Um, here is another ad for a game called, uh, what is it? Battle Court? Okay. It's just weird because it doesn't really have the logo of the game on this ad. <laughs> uh, Gold Patrol, not quite sure what this ad is about. Uh, this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, hugely popular series, of course. It's on Netflix now. 
I uh, love the series, the original one. Every year they seem to come up with a different show, though. Uh, Street Racer, based on the classic anime, it's Mode 7 Racer, only for Super Nintendo. Kind of average score, over at 4 out of 5. Um, Arrow Acrobat 2. Here is Tetris 2, uh, Cannondale Cup. Um, more Genesis ads. Spending a lot of money, a lot of money on advertising. As you can see, Yogi Bear, Super Nintendo, Radical Rex. Uh, you can plug and play another 3DO ad with some games. Burning Soldier, great. Gex is a great port for it, for sure. Software, etc. ad. How awesome is that? That's like, uh, be goodbye. Goodbye. I was going to say Best Buy. No, it's uh, GameStop ended, ended, up, ended up purchasing software, etc. Along with Babbage's and other ones. But, uh, man, I miss software, etc. It was a great, great shop. Um, I mean, I do miss a lot. Troy Aikman, another ad. There's a contest. You can win some stuff. Uh, Starblade ad for the Sega CD. Not much Game Boy ads or anything like that. Uh, here's Super Punch Out. Really fun game. Exclusive for Super Nintendo, of course. Arrow Fighters 2. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2. Trading cards. Collect all the great moves. Prepare the combat. Um, that's really cool. Sylvester and Tweety. Uh, Road Ray, Ray, uh, Rash 3DO. Gave it a five point out of five. Every I agree with that 100%. Graphically, it's fun. Fun factor is amazing. You can do right into arcade mode, or you can do like where you, you unlock money and earn money in, in kind of a strategy mode. Um, soundtrack is amazing too. They have like uh, Soundgarden and things like that. Uh, there was a port to the Saturn, but definitely 3DO port to me uh, is one of the best uh, for sure. Uh, Start Control, through a 32X ad. Uh, you can see a little dark for 3DO. Predecessor to uh, uh, Resident Evil, right? Kind of look like Resident Evil, kind of average score, kind of weird to play hard. Doesn't, it hasn't aged very well. Look at this controller here that Interact. And then look, here's another controller by Konami, right? Or Combat, this is by, uh, for Mortal Kombat. And you can see different ones they have, different controllers. Balls out. Sports page. Here's a Jaguar ad. Um, it's funny. More sports titles. Sports, sports, and more sports. Um, this batter setup was an like, interesting device. Like, you swing, it's kind of like the pre the, the Wii, right? The motion controls. La Lufia, Lufia. The Lord of the Rings for the Super Nintendo. I can't ever say I've played this port. Obviously, before the movies came out, the books have been out forever. Final Fantasy III, a little strategy play, role playing. This is, they gave it a Graphics only a 4.5 out of 5 on graphics. I disagree. I think graphics should be a 5. Everything else, fun factor, controls, sound, sound definitely a 5. I'd give it a 6. Amazing, amazing soundtrack. Um, Iron Helix, or Helix, <laughs> rather. Zero, uh, the Kamasaki, Kamikaze Squirrel. Can't read tonight. Uh, Jaguar, who's Predator, Alien vs. Predator, one of the best games on the platform, and of course they're try, they're doing, do the math, right? They're saying, you know, 64-bit's better than 32-bit, better than 16-bit. This is really before, we're not seeing many PlayStation ads because this is previous PlayStation. Uh, Yogi Bear for the Game Boy, finally some Game Boy ads. Earth and Gym, Shaq Fu, the fighting game. Star Trek Next Generation, yeah, pretty low scores. I'd agree on that. Sonic Hedgehog, Hedgehog Triple Trouble for the Genesis. Sonic Chip Club, they gave it a kind of low score as well. X-Band, which is kind of an online internet for the Genesis. You can play games. Beavis and Bud, the game. Uh, here's some, some tips for more combat. There's Boogerman here. Uh, Alice World, um, NBA Jam Arcade, different uh, codes you can put in to unlock different, you know, Pat Cox, Rachel Davies, Martin Martinez, different characters. I love those Easter eggs they put in. The, uh, they did a great job midway did uh these are just super cheats and codes and stuff like that right uh this world's a great game uh, space ace uh different achievements different more game genie codes nfl 95 wow another ad for sports games uh what is this for a street racer for the super nintendo say look at that i don't see street racer right it's just these ads were so crazy back in the day obviously i figured it out i'm world combat 2 The joystick, pushing the joysticks. Uh, Top Gear 2, racing game, which is great. Um, are you Sega Maniac or a Super Nintendo success? 
Here is kind of Q&A about games. Here's a Sonic and Knuckles ad. It was quite a unique concept to put Sonic and 2 or Sonic 1 and put it on, or Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 rather, you can unlock Knuckles, which I think was a, such a clever idea. It basically, you had to play, you know, this game itself, but you could unlock. It was so cool. And it worked. It was an amazing idea by Sega to do that. Uh, very, very cool. Here's another Philips uh, CDI ad, uh, which is cool. Sonic, uh, Donkey Kong Country. As I mentioned before, my favorite games. Here's a Neo Geo ad, King of Fighters 84. So getting like a mixture of ads um, or promotions for different consoles, which I love, Game Pro 4. The Search for the Next Level. Uh, this is kind of behind the scenes for this Donkey Kong Country 2. Uh, you know, introducing different characters. All that good stuff. I think it's for two. Maybe it might be just for one. Um, maybe we're on there. Any car racing. Uh, Slayer for 3DO. What's this ad for? Oh, this is like you can add attachments to your Game Boy and Game Gear to make the screen larger, add light to it, all that good stuff. Rockmore Racing. I talked about that earlier. Fun game. Uh, Lynx. This was a great uh, golf game by Virgin. Doom for the 32X. Good port. You play four players on this. Uh, tennis. Jeopardy, look at these TVs. So funny, dude. Classic. So heavy, too. Lunar. Really fun RPG for the Sega, no, working designs, Sega CD. Um, it's awesome, baby! But uh, here's more games. Oh, this is talking about the NEC, the new 32 bit X. Uh, yeah, it never hit the. This is what's going on overseas in Japan. Never hit the North America. Really cool that they actually highlighted the, the NEC FX PC. It's kind of the follow-up to the TurboGrafx-16 or PC Engine, right, in Japan. Uh, really cool that they actually highlighted that. That's awesome. Uh, more games, more games, game uh, Blockbuster. November Hot List, these are games to, to rent at Blockbuster. And this is where we're getting towards the end of the magazine. Here's the last ad. So overall, I think this magazine was uh, uh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you guys soon. Take care and game on.